Hello everybody, welcome to your weekly celebrity reading. This week it is Jennifer Aniston. I've had many requests about her. And as you know, all my readings for celebrities are based on subscriber requests. So if you want me to read a celebrity, uh, go ahead and drop them in the comments here. And I'll add them to my list and I'll eventually get to them. Listen, uh, here's the thing. With every celebrity, I do a very brief birth chart reading, okay? Just to give you a little bit more insight on what makes them who they are, where they are now, what's going on with them. Jennifer Aniston, she is an Aquarius, okay? And it's interesting that uh, her rising was cancer. I never would have expected that, but then actually it made sense uh, because she doesn't really like to be in the spotlight. It's really interesting. Um, looking at all her placements, okay? the couple just a few things that stood out all right uh one uh and she doesn't have any like uh trines she didn't have any grand trines she didn't have anything like super crazy but her chart was like all over the place now her moon is in sagittarius first of all let's talk about the fact that her she's an aquarius she has this tendency tendency to keep people's at keep, keep people at arm's length all right that's what it, Aquarius is known for, they're being very independent. They only let uh, really close people into their life, okay? And so that's one thing. The second thing, her moon is in Sagittarius, okay? So think about Sagittarius. It's, you know, they love their freedom. They love, uh, they're so adventurous and spontaneous and fun. And it really, they uh, sometimes may see a relationship as maybe a little smothering uh maybe not uh they have to like really really be in love and the only reason i'm saying that is because combine that with her son in aquarius okay uh so that was really interesting and then her venus was in aries okay obviously very direct when it comes to love okay it uh it, it, aries is very fiery right uh very uh even daring sometimes and that's also like a, a rebellious uh, a trait of Aquarius is being a little bit rebellious but that's another thing is that she doesn't necessarily need I mean you know Venus and Aries with her Venus and Aries it just makes her really strong in that department and she you know listen if she's not into a relationship she's not into it and those three key factors may explain the reason why that she has you know, doesn't date someone for a long time where her marriage is, or, you know, it's, it's really interesting. We get deeper, but like I said, I like to keep these really brief. Um, but the fact that she is an Aquarius and her rising is in Cancer, we know that, uh, well, we don't know, but just based on her chart, there could, she could be entering a new relationship soon. Okay, let's keep that in mind. All right, but it comes at a time where she might be in her head a lot too. All right, uh, a lot of secrets. Okay, could be coming. She's there's a lot happening there. All right, but also her career is about to take off in a big way. Uh, there could be something new coming out. Uh, I like I do with all my readings. I don't follow them. I don't, you know, I don't see what I don't Google them. Uh, I just look at the birth chart to see what's going on, okay? But with her being an Aquarius, with Mars going into Gemini, her fifth house, uh, there could be love, all right? There could be some love. There could be some love coming up, and um, there's, yeah, uh, I feel a lot of home matters too. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, reading for Jennifer Aniston see where she's at right now now i do a traditional celtic cross spread it's what my clients prefer if you want to book a private reading you know where to find me secondly uh if you're new to my channel it would be so great if you like and subscribe it really does help my channel grow and if you're a subscriber thank you so much for being here with me every week if you have a celebrity you want me to read drop them in the comments all right cool now Jennifer Aniston, listen, this is interesting, okay? Uh, did she, and if you're one of the people who, um, if you're one of the people who uh, requested her 
feel free to drop in the comments. You know, some people tell, you know, kind of fill in the blanks for what's going on. And it's so cool to see how it all aligns uh, with the reading. But it looks like she did have, oh gosh, that card. She definitely didn't want me to, <laughs> she definitely didn't want me to show this card. Um, the five of swords, okay? So we know this is a, a conflict card. We know this is a challenge card. We know this is a battle, okay? Battle that she's been going through, all right? So listen, here's the thing. Um, she does have a lot of activity uh, just in her birth chart, in her sixth house, okay? And so she did have Saturn there, okay? Um, she also has her Chiron there, okay? Um, listen, she could have been going through some sort of health thing recently, uh, and that's the first thing that came up, all right? Um, something health-wise, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's, I don't see anything here, um, but listen... <clears throat> She could have also just gone through a fight with someone, all right? And I'm getting more career-related energy, all right, in terms of maybe, like, her management team or her PR team or whatever it is. Or maybe she was on set and was not seeing eye-to-eye -eye with someone. I don't know if she's filming anything right now, but listen, here's the thing. There could have been something that happened in the past, and it could have been very emotional for her, all right? Could have been very emotional for her because here's the thing. A lot of people think, people think that blue thing in the back is a wall because it kind of looks like a gladiator's coliseum it's not it's water we know water represents emotions okay now the other thing is this really is choosing your battles wisely all right at the end of the day it's all about self-respect self-dignity being that stronger person being that better person in any sort of scenario that is challenging that involves other people all right so good for her because she became out, she came out the better person uh this is in the heart of her spread she did get the six of pentacles okay this is really good there is a, a she's in a point of in her life where she is uh understanding the balance between giving and receiving all right i mean it really when you have that knowledge it really does help improve body mind soul everything i mean you see the man here with the scale, all right? Having that balance is really good. But this is also a very altruistic card, also a very helpful card. Uh, you can see he's helping the needy, all right? Uh, again, health is coming up again. So there could have been something that happened. She could have had some sort of health scare, uh, and it made her realize, oh, I wanna help other people. You know, it could have had some sort of impact on her, emotional impact on her. Uh, but listen, it looks like this, she's, uh, the message I'm getting is she's both being in that situation where she is going to, uh, want, she's wanting to help other people and spend more time like uh, being open, more open hearted, but also she is receiving some help too. It's funny. Yeah, sometimes that happens and you know, I am getting that energy for her uh, for both ways now. Uh, she could be uh, doing some sort of charity or she could just be helping others uh, in some way or form. But listen, um, she did get the hermit. She got the hermit in her challenge area. The hermit, as we know, is someone who's made all these achievements, climbed the top of the mountain. Now all he wants to do is be alone. All right, all he wants to do is be alone and do a little bit of soul searching. You can see he has a lantern, lantern light. You can only see so far with a lantern light, right? So. How do you see further than that? How do you figure out what the next step is? Is you turn inside the lights inside you, okay? She needs to do a little bit more of that. Uh, I think she is going to do some too. I think she is going to do a little bit of soul searching herself. I think she, uh, I mean, she definitely needs to, um, but I think I'm getting the, a, a message, you know, I am getting the, 
really strong energy around that, uh, that, that that's going to happen, all right? She's definitely going through a very a strong personal journey right now, okay? She's definitely going through a very strong personal journey. Uh, and I feel like even, uh, you know, astrologically, we did have that full moon in Aquarius. That was really heavy. That was really strong. We had Saturn, you know, squaring the sun. And it was not, and listen, and this is in the past, and this could have been all very recent for her. Uh, listen, she did get the strength card in her crown. We love that. This is really great. Okay. So strength, she's looking for it. The bold, being bold, courageous, resilient. Listen, I know this, it looks like a boring card. There's really not much to analyze here, but when you look at it, when you look at it very deeply, she's one of two people that only out of all the tarot has the sign of infinity over her head. Okay protection from the universe, infinite possibilities with that strength, okay? You can also see she's taming a lion, all right? Now, as I say in a lot of my other videos, if you were to see a woman taming a lion down the streets in your local zoo, it would not be a fun thing to see. There would be a lot of blood and a lot of carnage, but look how beautiful that is, okay? Now listen, you know where that strength comes from, all right? Look, the lion, she's not really taming him. He's letting her, okay? So that strength, come, that strength comes from the synergy between them, that interaction. Think of it as a spirit animal. So whatever she finds her strength through, whether it's God, whether it's the universe, whether it's uh, her, you know, favorite uh, teddy bear, whatever it is, listen, that's where she's going to find the strength, okay? As she does this soul searching. Now, this is why she wants it, all right? This is why she wants to look for, is thinking about having that strength and courage is because deep down inside, she just wants to be emotionally fulfilled now. She just wants that, all right? She's looking to have all her senses, just pure joy, all right? When I say pure joy, we're talking whole other level, okay? Whole other level here. We're talking, listen, when I say whole other level we're talking another dimension all right nirvana uh euphoria and beyond i mean look at that this is just overflowing with emotions okay we call the ace of cups the heart of the tarot all right this is really beautiful card okay a lot of peace a lot of harmony here there's a lot it's just it's such a feel good card okay second thing i'm going to point out you do see the dove all right so just at the top and the only reason i'm pointing out the dove here is because um doves made for life <laughs> all right and so i think she is looking for a partner um it's a, it's something that's coming through now her future why am i not surprised all right she's famous she has a lot of money ace of wands even more coming through even more um listen in terms of the things that she wants the wants are fire okay ace out of all the tarot out of all the minor arcana they usher in new change new opportunity she's going to get a new opportunity coming in soon and it's going to be something that you like it's going to be something that she she wants uh you can see that the wants you know wants represent fire but look at the leaves already the sprouting the leaves so wants career enterprise work okay uh listen she's a hard worker we already know that we she has all that aries in her sixth house of, of of daily activities and work okay now listen that wand is alive okay listen you see this you see the leaves sprouting all right there is no other tool in tarot you do not see leaves coming out of pentacles you do not see them coming out of swords you do not see them coming out of cups this is alive all right so think of it as a spark turning into this flaming inferno of passion of things that you want all right whatever it is she's definitely going to get a lot of attention for it uh this is you know victory success but also like public uh recognition and achievement all right the six of ones okay so that's very interesting that's really cool i really love that for her and i mean i could keep going this is all in her future by the way 
she pulled the empress all right the empress listen sure pregnant and uh we call her miss universe you can see the 12 uh jewels in her crown each representing a constellation right a zodiac but also the her necklace the nine representing the planets all right so not only is she like all about nature and you know mother earth she really is miss universe here okay so aware so spiritual but also so maternal she's just like look she looks directly at you okay that's how much you know when someone you meet someone on the street and you just have this casual conversation with them and they have that look where they're looking deep into your soul and you're like whoa that's her that's how much she's so powerful and when i say abundance look she has a symbol of venus all over her okay you can even see the symbol of venus in this stone shaped heart right there all right protection jennifer aniston has an amazing future okay so something new is coming through something she's really passionate about something she's going to get a lot of public recognition for and something that's going to bring her a lot of major abundance okay so it could be a new movie a new show something that's really next level all right now let's take a look at her staff um like i said earlier if you do have someone you want me to read drop them in the comments but subscribe if you have not already um this is really interesting wow okay so uh she did get the four of pentacles four okay order stability structure listen think about the four legs of a table right you can see this is pentacles all about money all about wealth now here's the thing if i was doing this for reading for jennifer i would say listen it, now is the time to put your finances in order. She's probably already doing it. Uh, there's there's something that is uh, having to do with her finances. And it's even, I'm getting a message, it is re uh, regarding uh, this uh, career. Uh, it could She could be negotiating a contract or something. But, you know, with Mercury going retrograde soon, I would just, you know, advise her not to sign anything and just to, like once september 9th comes but mercury is in shadow right now so either way listen this is all about finances but uh here's the other thing you can see he's really clutching onto the pentacle and then he has one on his head which is really silly right have you ever seen anyone walking down the street with a quarter on his head no uh it's really weird but <laughs> um you can also see he's standing on two pentacles now Pentacles again, earthbound, but when you're standing on your pentacles like that, you're not connected to the earth. All right. So putting your finances in order, but really, really, really not being weird about it. Let's just keep it at that. All right. Because I talk way too much, way too much. And I try to keep these under 20 minutes. So let ultimately listen, finances. All right. Put them in order let's start putting them in order all right take care of that now she got another six and i love this um let me see one two three this is her third six all right again six is all about harmony right uh it's all about uh it really is the heart of the tree of life okay and so this is all this is uh i don't know it's interesting that um she did get the empress okay and this is children and this is in her external factors area so there could be something with kids coming up i'm not saying she's going to have a baby but hey she may be thinking about maybe adopting or uh being like uh, older what is it called uh big sister or something like that anyway uh there could be children in coming into her life uh but this is also a card of nostalgia uh, it's a card of uh, comfort, all right? So, this is, uh, by the way, out of tarot, the biggest house in all the cards, okay? And what that really means is security, all right? Major comfort, okay? And so, this is a beautiful card. Another card that's all about sharing. I mean, she got the Six of Pentacles, all right? And the heart of her spread. Now she has a Six of uh, cups, all right, cups, emotions, inner external factors area. There's going to be a lot of like this kindness and sweetness and uh, all of that coming into her life, and I love that. Um, yeah, 
King of Cups, there could be someone coming through, okay? There could be something, someone coming through. Uh, male figure, it doesn't necessarily mean when the King of Cups comes up that it is a man. It's just more masculine energy. If you think about the kings and the queens in tarot, the kings, their power, their energy, it's really more external, whereas the queens is internal, okay? So, but I am getting, but finally enough, I am getting, I personally am getting the energy of a man coming through all right and external factors uh king of cups here he is listen someone who's so on top of their emotions all right so, literally look his throne is on top of water that's how on top of his emotions he is so emotionally stable all right very creative person there's a lot of fish here too uh it could be a scorpio could be a pisces uh very watery um but yeah uh I am getting sex energy here too, okay? FYI, listen, we're all adults here, okay? Uh, so yeah, there could be, she could be having some, uh, some fun. Now, listen, uh, she did give a five of pentacles. This came up in a part of her spread that is interestingly just saying she does not want to be the victim. She does not want to go through terrible situations again. She does not want to be uh, feel isolated now, okay? She don't want to feel abandoned. And lastly, she does not want to have any sort of financial challenges, okay? Now, this is very interesting because what did I say about putting her finances in order? And then we also started off her reading with the five of sort of challenges that really had an impact on her that came up in her past. She doesn't, she's learned a lot through this journey, okay? From the beginning of what happened here, she's learned a lot. Now, she got the Queen of Cups, her final outcome area. Not only did she get the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Is that all the Cups? Yep. But look, three out of the four of the, you know, the the top four, the royal, the royals is what I call them. Um, listen, final outcome, queen of cups, okay? Now, the queen, listen, this is someone, like I said, queens have, their energy is more internal. Um, she is the type of queen who leads with her heart, not her head, okay? Leads with her heart. She's the type of queen who knows the name of every single person in her kingdom that's how much she cares if uh, whether it's someone in the royal court whether it is someone that's a farmer she's that type of person i call her the princess diana the uh, uh, mother Teresa. like she has that kind of energy so maternal so giving all right uh there may be a kid coming there may be a kid coming through there may be a kid coming through um, this year, but um, there, yeah, there could be a kid coming through this year, and um, it could be um, by winter, but listen, gosh, I'm not getting the energy that it's like hers though uh there could be something she's just gonna be in this maternal role it could even you know maybe it could even be a movie where she plays a mom or something or that she loves but there's kids all throughout her reading but listen uh clarified eight of pentacles listen hard-working person here okay very dedicated uh very laser focused all right on making that money all right listen money 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 listen you see that castle in the background it's all his all right just has to keep doing what he's doing and he's doing a great job and he's eventually going to get there but listen this is you know very interesting read she's gonna she's gonna be she has nothing to worry about she's learned she's going through this process she still needs to do a little bit of soul searching but she's definitely in a really good place moving forward in a very 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 good place but um yeah uh 
there's a rating for Jennifer Aniston. Uh, thank you so much for... Uh, I'm just going to do one more final outcome card. Yeah, okay. Interesting, she got the moon. All right. So, very much. She just has to trust her instincts now. That's a lot of emotional energy uh, in the final outcome. So it could be, so. like I said, uh, with her, um, she uh, she could be in her head a lot. She's going to be in her head a lot this year, or for the rest of the year, um, especially in the 12th house uh, of the subconscious and secrets and hidden enemies and stuff like that, especially with Jar uh, Mars and Gemini in her uh, 12th house as her being a uh, Cancer. But... Um, it really, like, all, it really is just very, very, like, more of an intuitive feeling I'm getting. Just, t just trust your intuitions now. Okay, trust your intuition. And just know that any emotional experience that you go through, learning process, okay? We all evolve from that. You can see the dog and the wolf here representing evolution, okay? That's all it is. We have to go through these emotional experiences. But, um, listen, there you go. There you go. That's it for Jennifer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have uh, someone you want me to read, drop them in the comments. Oh, man. I went... I, uh, I try to keep these under 20 minutes, but I talk way too much. All right. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.